Good morning everyone, welcome back to the Isle of Harris and what will be the second video hopefully on this little trip up here. Uh, conditions this morning, finally we're starting to get a little bit of light, uh, we'll be on days five of six here and uh, for four of them we've just had absolutely relentless grey skies but uh, thankfully it's finally starting to break now. Um, this morning the plan is to shoot this location here which I've been to previously I think it's called Trig Beeg now someone will have to correct me on the pronunciation of that but hopefully that's not too far off uh, it's a cracking little beach here with lots of really dark black uh, rocks and uh, like all the beaches here sort of pristine sand so uh, I, I do have a shot in mind because I, I did as I say I shot this location previously and I'd like to try and improve on the shots uh, that I got last time I'll show you that one on the screen um, very different conditions to what we've got this morning but um, yeah it'll be nice to have a, a sort of brighter version of it should we say uh, so yeah so that's the plan this morning and then we're going to move on to a second location that we actually shot yesterday now I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't do any filming yesterday but We've had such a bad week with the weather that uh, when we got there and we had a little bit of light, the priority was just to get some photography done because uh, it was in danger of being a week that I uh, wasn't going to get anything from. So we're actually going to, as I say, go back there because the composition that we found was so good that it would be a shame not to do any filming there. So I'm going to take you back. I don't know if the conditions are going to be as good as they were yesterday. I will show you those images that I got. Um, but yeah, it needs to be seen, that uh, that composition that we spotted. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when we go back there about lunchtime, things will be in a pretty uh, similar state. You've got to time it so when the, the tide's going out, the patterns that they create, you. you if you go there too late or too soon, it won't work. So that's the plan anyway. But I'll take you down to the, uh, the shoreline and I'll show you what I've been shooting. Okay, I think I can relax a little bit. Uh, I hope you forgive me for getting the photography out of the way there while the light was really good. It's really caught us off guard a little bit this morning. It's another one of those where, you know, the cloud was really thick when we set off, but out of nowhere, we've got a bit of light. So I'm certainly not complaining. Uh, this shot, I've actually shot this scene on my last trip to Harris, and I was quite keen to come back here and try again in better light which is what we've got this morning uh, you've got this big sort of clump of really dark black rocks here and then you've got this one little lone rock sitting in front and it's acting as like a nice little breaker as the water comes up the beach it's then swirling around that front rock and it's creating some lovely drag and patterns and all that sort of nice stuff so I shot one a little bit hastily because I you know I had to rush here to get the composition set up and just get something in the bag but I've came further forward a little bit from the first shot I took and I've just raised the center column up just trying to get a little bit more separation between that front rock and the clump behind and then I'm just playing with my shutter speeds as the water's drifting down the beach and we're getting that nice soft drag it's uh it's one of my favourite things to do, to stand on a beach and just sort of take shots and just experiment with the wave patterns and the shutter speeds and all that sort of stuff. Every now and again you've got to be, uh, got to be a bit careful of a rogue wave, but, uh, but yeah, looking at the stuff on the back of the camera here, yeah, really pleased with a couple of these. So uh, hopefully these are a big improvement on the ones I got when I was last here. The light's just sort of drifting off a little bit now it's still very nice but not quite what it was maybe 20 minutes ago so I'm going to stick around here see if I can get a couple more and then I'm going to move on to something else but uh, finally right at the end of this trip uh, we've had a couple of good mornings where 
the lights come good so I'll put this one on the screen and uh, yeah move on to something different Right folks, so we've turned up at this location and I was joking to my friend in the car <laughs> that a dog would probably ruin this shot and as we've arrived, you can see a dog has ruined the shot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so we're, we're cursing our luck here because uh, the patterns just aren't gonna work. Uh, Greg had a great idea there of actually chucking a bucket of water on some of this stuff <laughs> you can see there that this this just isn't gonna work so we're gonna maybe shoot here and maybe do a bit of photoshopping and then probably come back here tomorrow and shoot this again but today this is not going to work Right, I'm having to film this bit again because I thought I was recording there when we had some amazing light. So <laughs> I'll put this on, on the screen here. I shouted across to them because the, a rainbow popped out. <laughs> Run! <laughs> and we had five minutes there, absolutely glorious light. So I was pretty pleased in the end that I got this composition set up because it was a bit of an afterthought after uh, the disappointment of the dog walkers ruining plan A. Um, the shot I was going for there with these rocks, it was a bit of a cobbled together effort, but it actually, on the back of the camera anyway, looks like it's gonna work pretty well. Oh, I'll just grab this one here. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Whoa, look at the light, look at the light. What the hell? I was just waiting for the right amount of wash to come up and then catch it as it's receding there. What I think I might do is combine two images where we've got the one shot with the right amount of wave action and then that shot that I got with the rainbow there, I'm going to sort of combine that in post. It's a shame I couldn't get the two to marry up in the one frame, but uh, but what can you do? Uh, technical aspects of that shot, not very difficult to be honest with you. Probably about, I think it's about 20 millimeter. I had the three stop on and uh, shooting at about one second. So yeah, lovely classic Harris Beat scene this one. Okay, this shot, I feel like I've done it a little bit of an injustice here because of the lack of video around it, but having processed this image now and having looked at it, it would be a shame not to let you know my thoughts on it at least because in the end it was probably one of the best two or three images that I got from the whole trip really. Now you could see on the video that it, it was panic stations a little bit because the light popped out and really just priority number one was to get this shot more than anything else. Uh, the shot itself, I was shooting that tide that you could see coming in and out there 
I mentioned on the camera there that was potentially going to merge a couple of images together, but in the end, I much prefer this version without the water in it. You, you can see where it's cleaned the beach as it's receding, and then we've got these lovely patterns in the foreground that are being revealed. The rainbow was just pure fluke, to be honest with you. Uh, you can never be quite sure how rainbows are going to land, and in the end, even though we knew roughly where it was going to be, uh, it landed perfectly in my shot there, whereas for Greg and Dem, who were 30 yards off to my right, shooting arguably better light, uh, it, it didn't quite land for them, so they were, you know, shouting across and cursing me. But that's the way it goes sometimes. I did actually move over to where they were shooting after this point, and I got another image that I was really pleased with. So I'll show you that one as well. And also I'll show you the shot that I was planning to combine together just for comparison so you can make your own mind up and let me know in the comments anyway but yep really pleased with this shot and uh, a nice surprise after processing it That's Greg being a dickhead. I hope the uh, camera's picking this up. He's doing this deliberately to try and distract me from videoing. <laughs> oh, Greg, what a knob. Uh, yeah, this afternoon wouldn't be a Harris trip without coming down to Luskintyre Beach. So, even though the weather's not that great it looks like it's going to be cloudy it's going to make for some fairly sort of moody conditions i've come down to this beach with the idea of shooting fairly sort of minimal stuff the tide's coming in at the moment so i'm saying sunset there's not going to be a sunset but towards the end of the day the tide should be well in it should suit some long exposures so i'm gonna do probably a couple of shots here one looking towards Terence here and then another one looking towards uh god i can never pronounce it begins with a c i'll put it on the screen uh the hill down towards northton so yeah fairly minimal long exposure working with the nd filters and see if we can drag one more image out of today even though the conditions aren't that great so i'll catch up with you in a bit when i've got something set up okay we do have something set up here uh, apologies if it's a little bit windy i'm i'm shooting straight into the wind here uh, i'm really not trying to reinvent the wheel here because as i said earlier this is a really vast beach and i'm just trying to keep it sort of ultra clean ultra minimal shooting towards that hill that i can never pronounce and really trying to just show the slow movement of the water coming in and then drifting out um i've got the six stop on and i'm just varying my aperture and uh, an iso here to try and get the optimal speed i've had a few at about 20 30 seconds i'm doing a few shorter ones here at about two to three seconds and i'm just going to pick pick the ones that i prefer i'm just having to be a bit careful here because obviously as the tide's coming in i'm having to just sort of gradually retreat up the beach and adjust my composition a little bit but uh, we've actually got a little bit going on in the sky now. There's a little hint of colour um, as we're coming towards sunset here. It's not, it's not going to light up or anything, but if we can just get a little bit of glow, uh, that would just finish, finish this image off nicely, I think. 
Um, yeah, not a bad, not a bad end to the day, I think. Uh, I'm going to finish up here and then just turn my attention to Terence in the opposite direction and see if I can get something similar, similar there. So this shot here, really simple. You can see these lovely streaks of water coming in very slowly. It's a very soft uh, gradient on this beach, so the, the tide comes in nice and at a nice leisurely pace, so you can spend plenty of time judging your composition here. Just taking different uh, exposures as the water's retreating, and we've got the nice uh, little hill there, Tarrant's here. I hope it's Terence here, I've been calling it Terence here all video, uh, just in the background there, and then the Harris Hills in the distance, uh, just receding off there, looks like there's probably a bit of rain coming in, uh, but yeah, isn't, isn't this lovely, <laughs> not a bad place to stand and watch the world go by anyway. Okay, that was uh, that was quite fun. I'm still taking shots here, but I've got a couple in the bag that I'm reasonably happy with. Kind of what I was hoping to get anyway, the sort of ultra clean, sort of minimal composition. Uh, one looking towards Terence, as I said earlier, and then that other hill that I can never pronounce. Um, but yeah, it's been a nice change of pace this to end the day. Uh, I don't normally get to do a lot of sort of long exposure, minimal photography, so. Uh, there's not many better places to do it than this beach. I just wish we'd probably come here maybe a bit sooner in the week and spent a bit more time here, but um, you know what it's like on these trips. You can't sort of cover every base. You can only just sort of go with your best plan and, and hope the weather pans out. But we had some really good conditions earlier on today, so I certainly can't complain on the, uh, on the weather front today. Uh, I'm going to maybe fire off a few more here. I'm not going to do a lot of filming around this because the weather's starting to close in. I think we're going to catch a shower here. And uh, also, it's a little bit tricky watching, watching the water here around me. I don't want to drop anything. So I'll stick these images on the screen. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. I've got one more day here on Harris. So I don't know if we're going to get filming done tomorrow or not. If, if I can, I will. But... If, even if I don't, I've got a couple of videos out of this trip, which, is, which has been nice. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed them. So keep liking and subscribing, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.